The videos are shocking. Classrooms torn apart, desks and tables upended. I've had my things thrown around the room, um, ripped off the walls. I've been punched, kicked, stabbed with a pencil. How common is that? Pretty common. Ashley May quit her teaching job in Des Moines at the end of last school year, frustrated and frankly scared by some of her students. He would body check me and grab me by my whistle and yank me down. And then I had another student who pulled back and just threw a punch at me. And these kids are how old? Uh, seven. Like other teachers who took these photos, May would call for a room clear, a practice used when a student gets out of control, leave the disruptive child in the classroom while the other kids are moved out. Is clearing the room fair to the other students? It's not fair. It's not fair to anybody. The other students don't get to learn. I can't teach. My stuff's getting destroyed. That student can't learn. We understand that the, the challenges. That Des Moines Superintendent Tom Ahart says and room so clears are a last resort that have become more common in the past decade. Enrollment is up, funding is down, and there aren't enough mental health providers for kids. The expectations on schools have changed dramatically, but the challenges that we're asked to deal with have, have increased while resources have been reduced. Your teachers are caught in the middle of all that. Absolutely. It's happening nationwide, education experts say, because of stricter rules on teachers using physical restraint. So if schools have to be much more careful about restraining or removing kids from class, then one of the sort of simpler things to do is to remove all of the other kids. Bob so Cunningham that, focuses on education policy at the nonprofit Understood. You need to figure out why that kid is acting that way, right? Behavior is not accidental, Kate. It's a, it's a communication method. Ten-year-old Xander fun. White has special needs. He's the student who stabbed Ashley May with a pencil. And that makes me feel so bad because I know he's a good kid. His mom, Great Dawn, teacher. feels badly for the other students, but says there's no other place for her son. I want him to be socializing and, you know, hanging out with kids, but I do think that he needs to be in a smaller setting. Ashley May hopes bringing the problem to light means more support for teachers. As this issue gets more attention and people understand, hopefully it pushes people to make a change. Lester, the education experts I spoke with said the solution is smaller class sizes, more teacher training, more mental health specialists. But of course, Lester, all of that costs money. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.